Okay. So, Mr. J is a 50-year-old male who presented to the hospital with fever. He just had a permacath placed last week for dialysis. He was found to have a high fever in the ER of 102. Blood cultures are pending. Next day, the blood returned back positive for enterococci. How would you work this up and what could be the source here? So, in nephrology, we talked about permacath placements and grafts placed. And these are, um, uh, permacath is put in so that these patients could be um, dialyzed okay and this is a good way for patients to be dialyzed until you have some sort of a graft um, or a fistula that is working so a perm cath again is some sort of a line that goes in or it's a line that goes in um, and patients get dialyzed through it so this patient now has a fever blood cultures are showing enterococci how would you work this up? A lot of times when we admit patients, we actually get surprised that they have enterococci and we do more research and more workup. And I'll tell you what we do here. So enterococci is mostly present in patients who come in um, with some sort of a catheter infection. They have wounds or they have some sort of an abdominal infection. So let's say a patient comes in, they don't have any catheter and they don't have any wounds. You did a full physical exam. What else are you missing? the abdomen so a lot of these patients actually when they have enterococci bacteremia we do a ct scan of the abdomen and pelvis to make sure they don't have any infection there causing them to have this enterococci bacteremia